Hello everyone, welcome back to Arrakis for another episode of Let's Play Dune, the 1992 video game adaptation, the 1965 novel and 1984 film. This is the Amiga version. As you can see we're on the 84th day and we are now in control of 37% of the surface of the planet. The Harkins control 15% and this is quite a change from where we started off. Spice production is down for everyone. Um, and that makes sense as the ecology of the planet is changing quite rapidly now. Um, our number of recruits is increasing as the Harkonnens decreases, which is kind of where we want to go. I'll change to the standard vision. We can see a little bit of the greenery that's starting to develop across the planet. Now, the uh, it did occur to me while uh, I was thinking about the game between playing sessions that I've been undervaluing and underusing the ecologists. I, I'm pretty much of the opinion now that these ecologists have been um, created mechanically as as the best strategic option because there's not really a downside to them. They um, so they have the ability to create wind traps for free. There's no resource cost. Um, it takes obviously some resources of people and it takes four days to build a wind trap. But once they've built one, it will continue to collect water over time. And once enough water has been built up, it will allow for um, planting to take place. So the ecology of the, the planet will start to convert and um, vegetation will spread northward. And vegetation drives out the Harkonnen, so it achieves our military goals. And they also seem to have either a very large or infinite supply of um, bulbs to plant with. Um, I can't, I can't inspect the, the graphic right now because I'm not um, quite close enough, but uh, I think one of these is near, maybe this one. Um, Kynes's um, CH seems to have, the graphic there never seems to change for wolves, no matter how many I seem to have given out. So either there's a very large number or an infinite supply, and that's another free resource, and that just keeps lasting, so you give them one one portion of old and they just keep planting with it so resource wise they're very effective and they can achieve the the overall goals of conversion of the planet so both um politically i suppose um and in terms of the overall uh, ecology of the planet so there's not really any downside there's you're not likely to lose any people to it compared to military uh, military endeavors and yeah i feel a bit of a fool for getting so hung up on the uh, the combat side of things but i was coming from a perspective of several years after this game uh was produced and kind of being saturated with the idea of only having military solutions to conquest based uh real-time strategy games but I got to remember that in 1992 this wasn't codified. I mean, not the time this game was released. Uh, it was kind of codified when Dune 2 came out, um, and then compounded by by later games like like Warcraft. Um, but yeah, so I'm quite delighted by the nuance of it and the way that the game is kind of in, implying a philosophical point of view by giving certain mechanical advantages to a set of actions, which is really nice and, and very narrative. Um, so my overall strategy, if things stay this, as they are, let's get these guys here to build a wind trap here. Great, that's a job that will definitely motivate my men. So yeah, another aspect of the um, Kind of the indication that this is the best option is that this is the this is the role you can give the the fremen um, that they're the most motivated to do so they'll they'll perform better at it than anything else you can try to do so looking after the environment restoring restoring um, green life to the planet and supporting the beliefs and ambitions of the, the people who are here is seems to be far more rewarding than taking a military course of action or strip mining the resources that are here. 
but there are there are consequences to that because I don't know what will happen if we run out of spice. We can't pay the emperor what he demands. I don't know if there are punitive military forces that come. I don't know if maybe the game can end that way. It's it's possible. So that's that's the only downside really. So I'm going to be slightly cautious. I'm going to keep mining where I can. But I'd use ecology here to push, hopefully, push the Harkonnens out of this area. I feel this is the area, the area around their um, their main base is probably going to be the hardest to take by force. Um, so I'd concentrate my forces to the north here, where I think conquest would be easier, and we could um, then uncover a bit more spice to keep ourselves um, safe from the emperor in that way, and um, eventually convert those areas to greenery. Um, but I think the first military target I'd have is this fortress, which is kind of out on its own now. Um, but I'd really like to take back if possible. So that's kind of what I do overall strategy-wise. But um, something else has has changed as we um, have a look at our results again. You can see we've got our charisma is 50, which I think is probably the point we needed to reach um, for our mother Jessica to have found out sufficiently what the um, what the water of life is and whether we should drink it and uh, let's recap that because I think oh we're getting a message we have finished our prospecting job here in Simpo Timir okay well I'll distract myself briefly with that so that's that one isn't it there's hardly anything there so I think there's a harvester here, let's get them to mine there rather than there because that's more more productive at the moment. So let's just contact them. Oh yeah. Um, can you move to this one please and get a little bit more spice out of there. Thank you. Yeah, so I believe um, what Jessica found out should be in here. I think it's in the Fremen section. Let's flick through a few pages. It's all to do with the um, the beliefs and uh, practices of the Fremen. Paul's mother, Jessica, explains, Water of life is an illuminating poison produced by a baby worm when dying from drowning. It has changed within the body of Fremen Reven mothers to become a spectrum awareness narcotic. Which is, I mean, I find that quite a, a disturbing thought. Um, and to kind of compound the... Uh, the strangeness and the, uh, I guess, the, the dubious intent of this. Um, Jessica suggested that we should drink it to increase our um, the reverence that the Fremen pay us. Um, because we'll, we'll have become their, their prophet, um, but I don't know what else we will have become. So let's head to Trona Tabir where there is water of life and uh, we'll see what happens okay let me go Let's talk to the Fremen chief here. Um, irrigation and tree care for a very short time. Okay. And then we'll head into the water of life and I'm going to talk to Stilgar. There are many caches like this, Paul. It's the old Fremen dream, vegetation on Arrakis. There is a very slight humidity in the air on Arrakis. We use a wind trap to extract it and it comes down and gathers here. We also have little quantities of the very special water of life. It is used by our few reverend mothers. The water of life extends consciousness, but only a few people are able to absorb it and live. Would you like to try it, Maldib? I'm going to try it. Your decision frightens me, Maldib. Drink it, if that's your will. And... Oh! Ah, he's coming too! You gave us such a fright, Maldib. You've been unconscious three hours. 
I don't know what the water of life has done to you. I'm not exactly expert in these matters. I cannot see any change in you now. We all like Charney a lot. I'm sure her disappearance will have a bad effect on the motivation of the Fremen troops. Well, you didn't have to... You didn't have to throw that in there, Silver. There are many caches like that, Paul. It's the old Fremen dream, vegetation on Arrakis. Oh, okay. Uh, we're cycling. No, we're cycling now. Um, you're spiralling Stilgar. So... Well, now... Now what? Um... So, uh, did anything change statistically? Not because of that, I don't think. Can I contact anyone anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Well, I think we probably need to go back to Jessica, don't we? So let's do that. And I'll keep an eye on the um, strategic portion of things as well if I can. So let's just check in with uh, the... where are they? Where's my cluster of troops? Ah, great, so they've converted that to a CH. We see now we transform that fortress into a lovely CH. Okay, experts. 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 And they're all uh, at least equipped with uh, um, weirding modules as weapons. So, you know what? I think these guys should be able to take that place. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a try. It may be folly, but let's... Let's try and take it back. Okay. Well, let's let's see what happens. Okay, meanwhile, we're at the palace. Let's see what Jessica has to say about what's happened to us. Interesting that we didn't see any visions. and didn't get any kind of hint of what happened from Paul's perspective. But Paul, how can I feel this power in you? Could you be the one? Believe me, Paul, I can sense that your powers have increased. You are not able to contact Fremen in a wider range. After drinking the water of life, your mental capacities, capacities, capabilities have been boosted. My, my sight reading capabilities have been reduced. You should now be able to contact Fremen on the entire planet. I thought that might happen. Somehow. Well, there you go. That's incredibly handy. Um... Let's just check in. I'm not sure if we have a bill to pay actually. Let's just check in with our Duncan because I don't want to leave any bills unpaid if. Um... Aha, yes. I thought I, I, thought I had. Um, I will accept that. Thanks, Duncan. Okay. Um, so I can contact everyone now. That's, that's exciting and frightening. Um, I don't know if um, anybody else would be... Ooh, more dib. Your contact is so strong now. My troop is settled in Habania Tabir. We're doing us to do irrigation in tree care, but can't start it right now. Um, oh, I moved you there, but I actually want you to assemble a wind trap. Thanks. Great. Get to work on that. Thank you. Um, and then... You know what, so these, these folk here actually, if I move them to this one, this one, 
and we get them to do a wind trap there and we can start just start getting stuff going that should work pretty well that's the water supply looking there oh, it's not not very high but that's okay and what has it looking there for yeah i think it's pretty slow to fill but that's all right how's spice mining going there um yeah that's fair enough yeah, so I'm still going to need to visit people in person to boost morale, but also I'm doing pretty well. So where is, um, oh, hi. Um, we've been asked to do irrigation in tree care, but can't start it right now. We need bulbs to start vegetation. Oh, okay, so you're somebody I sent there. So um, pick up one of these bulbs from this very long list of bulbs. And... Um, Let's go planting somewhere. So, hang on, did I, did I send anybody to the south here? No. I think somebody should probably get there, shouldn't they? Yeah. So let's get you down there. Or should I, should I send you off to do some general? Uh, wind trapping that might be good um, if I look at the spice density that gives me a easier map to look at so it's mostly in this area that wind traps would be needed isn't it I think there's like water in these places um, yeah you know what I'll just get you down there I think that's okay for now so if I get you to move to um, this one here because in the region you're currently in there's not a lot of water I don't think yeah there's two water there's quite a lot of water there okay all good I think let's check on what our battles doing it's um, not starting yet and the troops are kind of spread out are they spread out where are they I don't see two well, this is two groups of two, maybe. They could, they could have bunched up. And I'm hoping that's the case. Alrighty. Well, that will keep going. Um, we'll take a little time, but I'm fairly content with that. And then I guess I can check on my military groups. They're experts, which is really good. Um, they're experts as well. Ooh, excellent. Um, so I wonder if and how are you doing? Average. Okay, you are skilled. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the troops over here are more skilled now. Let's see. Efficient, which is is all right. Um, whoa, 23 days, you're experts, brilliant. Um, you're skilled. You're skilled. Okay. Yay, they're excited about the vegetation. I'm glad about that. All right, so I might. Move one of these groups away where do I want to launch myself off from after having hopefully had a victory here oh hello are we fighting Johnny is here <gasps> my troop has been attacking Oxen to Min for a very short time she was there all along as much confusion on the half it's going to be easy to rout them well that's encouraging so I think what I should actually do is fly there, right? Let's, uh, how do I do that? Can I do that? Hang on, I'm getting excited. Oh yeah, I'm not, not near an ornithopter, that's why. I'm in the dining room. Okay. Right, let's go to the battle. I don't think still does should object to us flying in this particular direction. I hope not anyway. Here we are. Oh! 
gosh, have they taken it already? Or have I clicked on the wrong thing? No, I think this is it. We're transforming this ugly fortress into a nice yet, you'll see. Won the battle, my dear. Great. Where's... Where's Charney? Oh. Somebody doing military training. Interesting. Uh, am I here? Where am I? Yeah, this is the place, isn't it? So there's... We're captured by the Huckleland troops here. We will do our best not to be captured again. Wow. Okay, um... I'm... Are you probably in the other room? I have to do with Charney? Ah! <gasps> Charney! Oh, Paul, I was scared to death. I'm so happy you've been able to deliver me from these Harkonnen thugs. Paul, you were the only man able to make these Harkonnen step back. I'm proud to be at your side. Well, Charney, come with me. Yes, Paul, I want to follow you now and always. And then... Hello, friend of the chief. Um, will you... Uh, become ecologists, please? First thing to do is to construct a wind trap to have water. That is a good thing to do. I think I would like you to um, construct wind traps somewhere else because this is a reasonably good uh, area for uh, harvesting spice still. I believe it's probably the best one we've got. So, where did I send? Have I got harvesters running? I had some up to the north, didn't I? Um, Simpo Tabia, I think. So let's contact them. And that's. Is this Simpo Tabia? Simpo Chuek. Um, is this Simpo Tabia? Yes. Okay. I'm going to get you guys to move down here because. We can harvest there. Fantastic. So, is there any spice resource that I want to preserve right now? Um, not especially on this side, and not not overly on this side either. So let's. Let's get the um, this group to here to build a wind trap there. I think that'd be good. And then they're still converting, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I feel like we need to go back to the palace with Charney and talk to everybody. Um, and then I think probably some stories going to happen. That would be my. Uh, my feeling on the matter. Okay, thank you guys. So. You know what, the group that says it's training, they might not have even got there before the battle was over, which is intriguing. Um, so that's my point there. They're doing training instead of reconstruction. Oh, hang on. Did I not click on the palace? Yeah, there we go. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I do need to keep track of what day we're on as well. We've got until the 89th before it's spice time. Well, let's talk to Thufa. Because Thufa's been very concerned with security matters, so... Let's see. Nothing new yet. Okay. Just completely <laughs> blank in it. Okay. You understand all this? You really are incredible. What do you say, Stilgar? Good to see you with Charney again. The Fremen have recovered their motivation. Okay, so well that, I mean, that's good for all sorts of things. What do you say, Jessica? I'll do my best to help you, Paul, but sometimes you have to manage. Oh, okay. Just get on with it then. I love a lot of different rooms in your palace, indeed. So, well, I don't know. I think I was expecting a little bit more, but we don't seem to have got that. 
M maybe this is... Maybe there aren't any more surprises to come? I love this planet. Oh, Silgar, I hadn't got that dark enough in Silgar before. Um, let's look in the mirror. <sighs> yes, okay, I'm gonna save the game here while we can. Okay, so while we're hanging around, um, let's get one of these expert groups up. Has anybody got... No, nobody's got loads of stuff, but let's move them to one of these. Oh, hang on. Clicked off the map back and move you to one of these areas. Say this one. Remember, there's an expert around here. I'm going to get them to do some espionage. I'll see what happens. Okay, they're going that way. Interesting. Um, let's check on our ecologists actually. Okay, that was still on the move, so it's a lot of time, not a lot of time has passed, so that's to be expected. They're just sort of standing there, so let's get them to um, do. Oh, no, that was the wrong command. Let's get them to assemble a wind trap. Great. The motivation is 100%. That's incredible. How are you guys doing? So their motivation is 56% doing spice mining. Wow. That's pretty incredible. Okay, find the prospectors. Hiya. Oh, yeah. I don't think there's anywhere else for you to to look at, is there? Um, I think we've surveyed everything that we know about. Um, there's almost certainly a region here with something in it, and one here with something in it, but we haven't discovered any of that yet. I mean, I, I could fly around and see what happens. Um, there's a person there, somebody there. I could fly to there maybe, and, uh, and see what they say. So that's here. So let's go there. I think that's the one I want to get to, is it? There's loads of ornithopters. Um, yeah, so this should be... So it looks like there's a wider area on this map than it does on the, um, the overworld map. But in theory there should be something where this fish is as well. Let's see if the, um, the people inside have any clues for us. Okay, let's talk to the Fremen Chief. The Trooper settled in Carpag Clan. We've been doing spice mining for four days. Uh, motivation 97%, expert in spice. Wow. Production level is now only one kilogram an hour. Spice is harder to mine now. Um, there's some stats. Yeah, there's not much there. Spice is scarce. Okay, no clues. Hmm, interesting. Well, I guess we could take an Orny. Um, kind of a just sort of across the middle here although you'd think we would have we would have been there already to find anything
Yeah, it's not really looking like anything uh, there. So let's backtrack over here. I'll do like a little triangle to just see if there's anything around. And um, either we'll find something or we'll get to perhaps there. Um, and from there, I will contact people about the military operations that are going on. Okay, yeah, that's not really working, is it? So, if we do this, we will have, we'll have covered quite a lot of this area, so I, I don't know what might be there otherwise. They say it doesn't seem to be a dangerous area, so I can't imagine there's a Harkonnen fort here. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing there. What do you say, Stilgar? There are no friendly troops here. Someone has been here at one time. There is some equipment left. We can use it. Charlie? These zerts yet, just they always make me sad. Okay, well let's... Um, actually, we don't want to take an ornithopter. We just want to have a look at the map, because... I don't know the limit to our ability to communicate. Okay, hello. We've been doing espionage for a few hours. Um, one Harkonnen troop, they are dangerous mode, but they've got arms indeed. Okay. Well, you know what, that actually seems fine. Um, I wonder if we should fly. Yeah, I've got a plan. So let's fly to... this one please I don't know if we'll discover a sketch by accident this way probably not I imagine we've done most flight paths over the fish by now yeah no we'll skip to the destination um, and let's go inside and let's let's pick up Gurney um, I must admit, this um, fortress converted very nicely back to a sketch. Come with me, Gurney. Um, he's got... Oh, okay, still got to stay here. I think that's that's pretty fair, actually. Um, still got has been enormously helpful. So let's um, take Gurney to one of these places. This place. Yeah, sure, let's do this place. And we'll have it kind of as a training camp for um, for any recruits that we need to. So we'll pop you in here, Gurney. If you like, I can stay here to train these Fremen in the handling of arms. Okay, okay Gurney, I think that's a great idea. Great, okay. They're learning quickly. Fab, Fremen Chief. Um, efficient army, great. So let's have a look at the map. So there's. Um, how are you doing? You're skilled. So would you like to move to here? That'd be helpful. And then who's over in this one? We've got. Oh, you're experts, okay. Well, that's all right. And then you are experts as well. Okay, that's fine. So I might move one of these experts over to here. So that we're good there. And then let's see, is there anybody else who's still training up? Okay, yeah, I'll move you to where Gurney is, which is that one, I think. Yeah. And then you, how are you doing? Your average. Can I get you to be Wigernia's too? Thanks. Still guys here. Um, and your expert. So I might get you to move as well to. Hang on, where is there nobody? There's nobody here. Maybe there as well. Okay, so that will probably work alright. 
So you're... Ah, have you finished? Yeah, so let's let's get you to another one. So um, this one I don't think would have a water. No wind trap there. Um, so can you build a wind trap, please? Thank you. Um, I think the the one down here is still going as well. Yeah, they're about half done. Well, that will work be completed soon. You know what? I think their um, productivity might increase as their motivation increases, which would make perfect sense. So there's some, some stuff going on there. Um, let's make sure we get the southerly ones done first. So, no wind trap there, so we can get you down here. I think it was, you know, which one was it? This one, I think. Please. Great, so I think we're doing alright. We, we're getting some water going. I'll let that build up as time goes on. And there's quite a lot of water in these ones, so that's good. Great, so... Let's uh, come out of here, I think. Um, we'll fly back to where Stilgar is, which is to say um, this one. Okay, and then let's just check on the states of the troops who are converting that back into CH. You've done that? Fab. And then you guys, yeah, so you were the just training there. Have you seen how we transformed that fortress into a lovely sea edge? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure it's good. Okay, so I think I can probably send one of you to, actually, let's just check where stuff is, first of all. Um, I kind of need somebody there, don't I? So that one is Bled and Hog. Okay, so I'm going to get you to Bled and Hog, if I may. Over here, Bled and Hog. And then you guys, I'm going to get you to attack this new, newly discovered fortress here. No, there's going to be a region in there somewhere, isn't there, that we might want to do something with. There we go, so that should, that should do it, I think. So we set those wheels in motion. Um, hopefully training is going well for this, this set of people here. They're now experts. Ooh, okay. Um, they're now skilled. Brilliant. Yep, they're skilled. And then... They're average. So the, um, so the experts, where could they go? And I've got... A pretty good representation on most of these places now actually. I guess having somebody there is pretty good, so I can send them back over there. So that would be this one? Yeah, this one. Good. Okay. And we've got there's hardly any spice to mine, is there? Um, I guess we can mop up some of the, the purple regions, possibly. So, let's see, where have we got people? There's... 
Okay, so those, these ones are not getting anything out of there anymore. So Carthag Clan, Simplo Chuek. Uh, these two. What are you doing? Yeah, can I get you to move? To... You might as well go there, because that's pretty close to where you are. And then you might as well go to there, because that's pretty close to where you are. And that'll, that'll do. So let's see. Let's get Stilgar back. Come with me, Stilgar. There are no Fremen troops here. Phlegmatic as always. Um, come with me. Yes, my dear, my dear, but I am with you. Okay, and then we need to go back to the palace, so let's, let's do that. That week went quickly. with Jessica sometimes you have to manage fair enough um, I think that's just code for there's not actually anything new you need to do here anything in the war room no I'm glad Gurney's back in business I'm very glad that Charney is um, I think for, have you got any thoughts strategy nothing new yet fair enough Okay, well, I think we probably need to go outside and wait until morning. It'd be wonderful to see the greenery reach up here. That would be exciting. Oh, Paul, this moment is unique. Being here next to you with, uh, with all of these worlds above us. I want to be close to you. Ah, oh, but it was sunset again. Let's wait for morning. What do you think, Silgar? Use caution when venturing into the deep desert. Fair enough. Alright, we'll do the corridor shuffle then, I think, for a minute. Have you got anything to say, Duncan? Our stocks... Ooh, they're only 60,000. That's... Yeah, they're creeping down, aren't they? Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, I don't feel like we're doing, we're doing okay. We can contact everybody again now, can't we? So we can see if anything's happening with our battle plan. I think everybody's still on the way, probably. Yeah. How are you doing? I see one half of the troops. They are dangerous. And they've got arms indeed. Okay. I mean, if we're lucky, we'll get some resources out of the, the battle. That would be helpful. How are you guys doing? Skilled. Expert. Oh, you're experts. Brilliant. How efficient. Yeah. Yeah, so I think having a training group all together is, is pretty effective. Nice. Well, I think we're doing alright. Oh, so you're here. Um, would you care to... Um, assemble a wind trap. Great, thank you. And then down here. Oh, okay, these guys. So, can I get you to move to this one, I think? And then do a wind trap there. Um, so, where is there not water now? There's not water there. Um, is there anything to harvest? Mind you, by the time they build a wind trap, it'll be mined out anyway, won't it? Um, so, ah, so how about this one? No wind trap. I think you should build a wind trap, right? Great. That's a job that definitely motivate my men to 100%. Okay. So the, the planter here, I'm going to get them to move to, was it this one? No, it wasn't Chiron to be it, was it? 
Hang on, let me double check. I need to get the name fixed because otherwise I'll get confused. It's Carthag Chuek. Okay. Please move to Carthag Chuek, which is that one. Great, thank you. Fab! I thought like this is going very well indeed. Um, and actually, you're planting, but you could be uh, you could be uh, getting some of this sorted out by uh, going to this one, I think. Or maybe this one would be good. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay, check on our military operation. Nothing, nothing doing yet. Okay, it's probably time for a message, I imagine. Is that what you're about to tell me, Thufa? Yeah, okay, I'm on the way. Okay, Thufa? View the, view the new message before we continue. Okay, you're right, that is the protocol. Uh, Emperor? Um, just at like 21, 21, 24? Okay. Can't remember quite what it was last time. Yeah, so we're, we're now at the point where we're gonna, only gonna be able to go a couple more times before we're out of, uh, out of spice. Yeah. Our ability to increase our spice reserves is going down. Um, we can send him what he asks for. 24,500 kilograms as our stocks are. What if we argue? We can send him the tally of our stocks. That's a lot indeed. Can we send him less? Maybe 50% more than what he asked? That would be a problem. We can try to send him 40, twice what he asked for. Hmm. Yeah, so I wonder if, um, if we have less, maybe Duncan gives us some options to offer less, um, but we'll just go with because that's our most generous. Uh, most generous to us to uh, to just send him what he asked for. So let's do that. He's gonna stay behind, uh, Charlie. Okay, we'll be back for you in a bit, Charlie. Don't worry. Here we go. The usual process. So we're on day 89. Hopefully we get um, a fair few days before the next um, shipment is due. Give us some time for further planting. The spice has been shipped, let's wait for the Emperor's reaction. We don't have to worry, we're sent why he asked. Ah, here comes the answer. You sent me the spice I've asked you. Good. Next ship will be six days from now. Okay, let's get Charney back with us. A lot of different rooms in your palace. Come with me. And uh, and we'll end in the banquet hall for this episode. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm excited and interested as to what's going to happen now. It feels like I was expecting a big plot shift again, but I don't think we're going to get one until the very end of the game. So I think we need to keep on plugging with our, our strategy now. We're very much set in this mould. I think that's what's going to keep happening now. Um, so we'll, we'll give that a go. Thank you very much for joining me, and until next time, take care. Bye bye!